I'm at yet another convention, but I thought I said I would stop. Let's talk about it. So those of you that saw the video last week about me quitting, quote unquote quitting, saw me talk about how we were actually gonna be stopping conventions going forward. What a lot of people fail to realize, especially when I was at Ranger Stop Atlanta last weekend, but we've already made prior contracts with a couple of these shows. Ranger Stop Atlanta is one of the shows that we already pre-sponsored months in advance. So we had a contractual obligation to at least be there. And then with this show, Too Many Games, is actually a local show that's happening about 10 minutes from the home store. So it was almost a no-brain to do the show. But as you can see, outside our normal 16 to 20 boother, this is just two booths that we're focusing on retail for. I mean, let's be honest, the store's right down the road, so there's no need for me to bring the full setup. And the last two shows that we have fully committed is Fan Expo Denver and Anime Expo. Both of these shows we already booked at the beginning of the year. We're sponsors for both the shows, so we have a contractual obligation to at least man our booths and appear at the shows. But then after that, from July onwards, it's everything we discussed. We are focusing on the store operations and the franchise operations and cleaning everything up. But we're not going to lie. We're hoping that these next three shows that we have for the rest of the month of June end up being fruitful for us. As with these shows, we kept the cost down as much as we can, focusing on the retail as well as the fan engagement. And lastly, for those of you that are going to be at Anime Expo, I'm actually going to be making a separate video announcing how we're actually going to be taking over a coffee shop for you to come by, get some free coffee, meet with me. And this opportunity is mainly so I can have a more intimate meet and greet with fans in the Los Angeles region, but most importantly, potential franchisees as well as new investors in the area. But again, after AX, we have nothing committed, nothing planned. We're in full rebuild mode. So hopefully come around the fall season, we'll be fully recovered, have a new team, new investments, and hopefully new stores announced for you guys. All right, I'm actually editing this the day after when the setup is actually almost done. So I'm definitely getting better with the more simplified setup, the smaller booth. So fingers crossed, guys. Hopefully this weekend goes well for us. But on top of that, I actually want to add something to this video for those that actually watch the end. Our funding round got funded. Uh, so we actually hit the minimum goal and we're at 271. SEC allowed us to go, go ahead and initiate at 270. We've initiated the draw, so for those longtime investors who've been in there for over five months, the pending status is no longer going to be pending. Uh, we're going to be able to accept everything. Hopefully starting next week, everyone's going to get notified, and we're going to be able to get the ball rolling starting next week to get this going. So, And obviously, there's still opportunities to still invest if you guys want to, but hopefully this is the start to hopefully everything changing for us But you know, for this summer. And then by the fall time, we're just kicking ass. So thank you very much, guys, for your support.